being awarded. Today I have a sealed GX Battle Boost booster box. This is only released in Japan. It's like the Sun and Moon Plus 4 for the Pokemon TCG. So we're gonna go ahead over to the table and start opening these up, see what bad boys we get. All right, so we have a sealed GX Battle Boost. You know, I am American. I can't read anything in Japanese, but I know pretty much all of my Pokemon, so forgive me if I say any of them wrong, but at least I'll know the names. Just give you a little look at the box. We have Cosmog, Sivali, Obolan Executor, Mimikyu, Rayquaza, uh, what is that, the new one, Magarna? How do you say her name? I think. And we, of course, have Solgaleo and Lunala on the front. So let's go ahead and open this up. I'm going to be real careful opening this up with this right here. Alright. We're going to flip it open. I'll be completely honest, I have no idea what any of this says. So if anyone here is Japanese or can speak Japanese, please enlighten me. But I have some packs here. We're gonna go ahead and uh, just go through these one by one. These are really cool pack arts. Like, I mean, they look really cool. So the thing about GX Battle Boost is that they're supposed to be a GX or better in every single pack, which is crazy. The packs there a little bit because these are a little bit stronger than regular packs, I feel like. So right here we have Lamp Dude, Litwick, Cosmoam, Execute, uh, Trashy Man, I'm pretty sure it's called Gaborador or something like that. This is Raichu, even though there's Krognunk on there. Trainer, and wow, Celesteela GX. That is beautiful. Look at the hollow finish on that. Wow. I would read you guys the moves, but, you know, I, I, can't, I can't really understand that. But one of them does 180 damage, the other one does 130. It's a pretty powerful card, 200 HP. Beautiful finish. So let's go ahead and get this one sleeved up. With a lot of these, but we'll go ahead. This is Trubbish, I believe. Trash Pokemon. We have Soul Rock. We have Grubbin. Sexy Flower Lady. Pretty sure her name is Tesserna. Serna. We got a nice looking Blissey. This is probably like a potion. And wow. We have oh, Tapu Lele GX. Unfortunately, I can't play this in my deck because it is in Japanese and that's not tournament legal here in America. But this is, anyone who plays a TCG competitively knows this is one of the most sought after cards. And just look at the eyes on that as it, oh, it's just beautiful card. Alright, so we're going to get that one sleeved up immediately. Very cute looking, a Lolan Vulpix. An angry looking pincer. A very fierce looking Pikachu. Rayquaza screaming because Kyogre and Groudon just never want to cooperate. Then we have a very, very funny looking, scary, Sandy Ghast. Um, I don't know what this one says. Probably uh, like Banhammer or something. You got the Banhammer. And wow. Beautiful Zerkatry GX. I just love looking at these hollow foil finishes. All right. Alright, so we got the Field Blower. I know this one is very common in the competitive decks. I have one in mine. We have a uh, Dupiter, Dupiter, a Du Spider. So I'm thinking it would be Dupiter, Dupiter. Um, this is Charabug, I think. Electric Bug Dude. Oricoco, Oricoco. I remember he changes forms. Another Tapu Lele. Looking pretty cute with all her pink. Uh, this one is called Delmise. Yeah, he's Delmise. He is an anchor and he brings your demise. And then we have Guzzlord GX. Looking very, very hungry. Guzzlord GX. Wow, he is hungry. Just look at him munching on. What is that? A, that's a car. He's munching on a... Jesus, he's eating a whole car. Just everything in sight. Guzzlord's gonna guzzle it up. Alright, so we have Acerola, Arcerola. She's another really good one in the competitive TCG. We have Litwick, Lampent, um, something from that evolutionary line. We have a Lolan Sandshrew. Oh, this one is a uh, Monkey King dude, Sun Wukong. Um, 
Yeah, we're gonna come back to his name. Chandelier, Chandelier, Fire, Chandelier. Uh, Golden CD. Yeah, Golden CD. Oh, this is probably something for Savali. It's probably like something for to change his type or something. And wow! Holy crap. Mewtwo GX. Mewtwo looking like a baller 24-7. Like he always does. Oh, man. This is so far my favorite card pull from this pack. Just look at that shine. Mewtwo is not someone to be messed with. Look at him. He's like doing a Rasengan. He's ready to just release it upon the world on Team Rocket. Anyone trying to mess with him. So go ahead and open up the next pack. All right, we have a... Uh... Wow, he looks really angry. Uh, that's the trial captain who spins fire and has Marowax. I can't remember his name. But yeah, he's a cool guy. We got a very happy looking Rockruff, which is great because in Forbidden Light, Rockruff looks very depressed. So I'm glad that he's looking happy here. Uh, this is Mushroom Dude. Don't eat him. Um, I'm pretty sure he's called Shinotic. Shinotic? I'm not sure. This guy... I'm pretty sure his name is like Pimuki Muku, Pimuku Maku. Someone please correct me on that in the comments. Pimuku Muku. I literally know his name because I read it in the game, but I've never heard anyone say it. Pimuku Maku. Wow, this looks great. This is a beautiful looking Lunala. This is a uh, Tapu Bulu. Yeah, probably because he's a bull. Yeah, Tapu Bulu. Wow. <laughs> This is just beautiful. I love that there's a GX in every single pack. Look at this. Ho-Oh GX. Wow. Oh my gosh. That is beautiful. Ho-Oh GX. Alright, so get this next pack going. Alright, this is a classic card that we all know. Double colorless energy. Uh, Alolan Executor. He's looking... Oh man, he's having a great time. Aw, oh, Eevee's looking so cute in the water over here. We have Saviper. Honestly, Saviper is one of my favorite Pokemon, and it upsets me that statistically wise, by his stats in the games, that he's pretty terrible no matter how well you train him. Because he just has a cool look. Oh, and we got Puff the Magic Dragon over here. I'm pretty sure his name is Drampa. Looks like that dude out of the Never Ending Story. I think his name was Atreyu. And I only remember that because there's a band called Atreyu. Oh, wow. Zerkachi GX with the gold. Wow. Are you kidding me? Oh, my God. Do you see this? We have Dark Ride GX and a Zerkachi GX in the same pack. Oh, my gosh. Oh my god, those are beautiful. Three packs left, so let's go ahead and take a look at what we've got here. Alright, so we have... Um, I remember this from the game. That's the Altar of the Sun or Moon, depending on which one you play. That is Reggie Rock. A Murkrow. Uh, Chatterbug something? He's a new electric bug type or something. Pretty sure this is another Morlo. I'm pretty sure that's his name, Morlo. You know, mushroom type. Don't be going eating him. This guy's called Vicovolt. Pretty sure he's the fully evolved form of that other guy. I couldn't remember. And then, whoa. Whoa, Necrozma. Necrozma, Necrozma GX. Oh man, I'm speechless. That's just beautiful. Completely beautiful. The second to last pack. Let's go ahead and open this bad boy up. Alright, we got my boy Guzma over here. The trainer who beats you down and never lets up. We got Lunatone. Litwick. For Mantis, I'm pretty sure. Alola Ninetales. Ninetales is one of my favorite Pokemon. And I think it's so cool that he has a fire form and an ice form. Like, I just, I love Ninetales. This is, uh, that's Kangaskhan, yeah. 
not Genghis Khan, you know, like the crazy Chinese dude, but Kangas Khan. And then, wow, we have another beautiful looking Lycanroc GX. Whoa, look at how the eyes glow in the hollow. That makes him look very aggressive. I would not mess with a Lycanroc. Last pack, let's go ahead and open it up and see what we get. All right, so we have a rare candy. A uh, Lolan Sand Slash. Ooh, this one. Pink Happy Cherry. Cherim. No, that's not Cherim. Cherim's the 420 Pokemon. Um, I don't know. We have Cosmog. Nebby. Get in the bag. Uh, Diancy. Victini. And Tapu. It's one of the Tapus. It's, uh, it's, ta it's not Tapu Lele, it's not Tapu Coco, and it's not Tapu Bulu. Oh, there's one more Tapu. Tapu Fini, that's this one. Tapu Fini, very beautiful card. Please don't handle me too much, guys, for not knowing these Pokemon names. I do not speak Japanese, and so I'm only going off my knowledge from playing the video games. So, I have, you know, it just it's hard sometimes. But this is a beautiful Tapu Fini right here. It's the last card of the pack. Every single one of these packs has had a GX, and one of them even had two GX in it. So, very cool pack. Unfortunately, it will not be released in America, I wish, because I would use almost all of these GX in my deck building.